Here's an example of a B plus power supply with AC hum due to what I would assume to be the electrolytic capacitors. So uh, let's look at the hum. Again, I'm using my oscilloscope and I have a uh, blocking capacitor. And here's the ripple. You get this refocused here. So you can see it's uh, very, very significant. I'm on the B plus side, and you can see the 60 hertz uh, sine wave. And again, we're seeing just under uh, 7 volts RMS. Let me get a measurement now of the true RMS voltage on the B plus side. And we'll take this voltage, 7 volts, divided by that to get the percentage of ripple. Okay, now I've got the oscilloscope probe tied right back to the B plus side. And again, you can just see how nasty this uh, power supply ripple is because I really should have uh, pure DC at this point, or very close to pure DC, never practical on these uh, old radios. But uh, if you do the math there, again, that's an RMS voltage of around 170 volts. So. If you take that 7 volts that we had divided by that, that would give you about a 4% ripple. And you can just see how bad the uh, ripple is here by looking at the AC sine wave. So uh, let's get those uh, filter caps replaced. And then we'll make a uh, measurement uh, post the change and uh, compare the results. Okay, here's a look at the underneath side of that chassis on that Gilfolin radio. Again, I'm just doing a repair for my dad, not a restore. At this point, the cabinet is uh, almost destroyed, so uh, if he's able to get it back together, then uh, maybe we'll spend more time here on the chassis, do some de-rusting down the road. But uh, I want to square away the uh, B-plus voltage, and then we'll get the rest of these uh, old uh, paper and wax caps out as well and check all the resistor values. But I'm going to forego the uh, stuffing of that uh, solar square electrolytic can that sits on top. We'll leave it there for aesthetic purposes. And I've got a screw here already coming through. I'll use that to mount a terminal strip. So let me look at this offline figure out how I want to do the mounting of the electrolytics and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a couple of uh, new electrolytic capacitors just kind of jumpered in right now, not mounted and just kind of repeating some tests so you can see the RMS voltage there. Again, I'm going through a uh, cap so I can uh, just look at the AC impairments themselves and you can see you know, it looks like it's peaking out somewhere maybe around 120 now there's 130, 140 millivolts. So um, let me look at the B plus voltage here and see if it's much improved. You can see here the B plus voltage is significantly higher now. It was around 175. The same connection point with 110 volts ACN. Now I'm sitting about uh, 212, 213, and again just a few millivolts of, um, of ripple. So just shows again what these old uh, caps you know can create. So again I've just got these jumpered in just for demonstration purposes. Uh, let me get these things mounted and then we'll take a look at things. But before I do, let me uh, turn the volume up. Again the volume's all the way down. And there's the volume turned up again. I don't have an antenna hooked up to the radio, but you can hear now just the uh, the clearness there and the hum and pyramids that we had before are, uh, are gone, which is uh, to be expected. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got the uh, electrolytic capacitors mounted and uh, man, it turned out really neat and very, very easy. Just used a, a couple terminal strips as you can see and uh, one of the uh, negative sides goes to the chassis ground and the other loops back around to the center tap of the uh, power transformer and of course the other uh, 
goes right back to the uh, rectifier tube. And at the same time, again, I just did a quick uh, recap on this. I still need to check the uh, resistors. Checked a few along the way for accuracy. Most of them were 20-25% uh, with intolerance. I may let them be for now. But I uh, got all of the uh, caps out. And you can see there that, uh, well, at least the majority of the caps are out. Still a few of these uh, mica molds in there. Uh, Picoferric values, I'm going to just let them be. But it uh, turned out pretty good. And uh, radio's playing uh, really, really well. Okay, I want to do a quick RF alignment. For this purpose, I'm going to tune in to uh, 900 kilocycles. And I'm going to uh, just use my uh, signal generator here. And I've already verified the frequency itself on the frequency counter. And I'm going to just do an audible on this uh, just to make it really, really quick. So the dial itself is tracking really, really well. Let me uh, turn this down just a little bit more. Okay, let me adjust the uh, IFs here. And again, I'm not uh, inserting the signal at the IF frequency. I'm going to just use uh, 900 kilocycles. And it looks to be pretty close. The RF alignment itself appears to be almost spot on. All right, let me increase the signal just a little bit and just make certain. Yeah, if I've moved these IFs at all, it's probably a... Maybe a... Couple millimeters. Okay, let's run through the uh, band now and see what we can pick up. Okay, we'll run through the uh, band like really quick here. A lot of noise here on the low end. It seems to be tracking uh, correctly. I think that's uh, 7.30 a.m. Another really strong station here in the area is 1110. Climbing the rankings or climbing a ladder. You need the right equipment for the job. It's the one ladder that does it all. So you can see that's tracking pretty close. I think that's 1140 uh, a.m. or 1150 a.m. Move over down to Watson's right hand side. Watson. So again, the uh, you know the recap on the radio it turned out good. The uh, I tubes now responding since we got the B plus voltage up. And you can see here in the uh, video, if my dad's able to uh, restore the uh, wooden cabinet, 
then uh, I'll probably just grab this back from him and then uh, go ahead and finish up on the uh, chassis itself. I need some de-rusting. May actually have to pull the uh, tuning condenser out and of course we'll re unmount the uh, power transformer and clean that up as well. Um, you can see in the center of the screens that electrolytic can that I left in place and I uh, just put those uh, two electrolytic capacitors underneath between the terminal strips. So, uh, hey, I appreciate you checking this out again. It's just a, a quick video, a quick repair that I wanted to do for my dad and uh, get this back to him here in the next uh, week or two. Anyway, thanks again for uh, watching and following my videos.